alone. And you think you might harm yourself. Sarah Kane is so um, difficult at times, and especially her last play is so difficult because it doesn't have any stage direction, there's no character, there's nothing you can actually use as a director. It was just something that I found very exciting because usually you have stage directions, you know where to put the people, you know where to put stuff, you have props. This is all not the case with this production. So I felt that there was a huge, um, you know, there was an awful lot of space simply to explore things, to ex explore it different issues and images. When I read the play again and again, I had this, this idea of images in the play. I had this idea of particular things that happen to a mind and also how to actually put it on stage so that you feel as if you were in the mind instead of just watching something or watching someone break down. That's why I came up with this idea of the chorus and why I thought that a chorus might be a wonderful thing to have um, to support this idea, this metaphor of the consciousness around something and also I feel that different parts of the play are structured like memories. Those memories come into the play, they come into, um, into, into the stage, it's almost like bleeding together. It's quite interesting how Cain wrote that, it's also quite interesting how powerful the language can be. And I was just trying to find something to bring it out more, to actually work with it and, and get, get something across to the audience that was based on emotion rather than an intellectual understanding of what happens to a depressive mind. Because I don't think it's a, it's a pathological exploration of someone. I think it's, it's about um, an artistic vision of depression. That, that's what makes it so interesting, I think. My main inspiration for my lights was Adolf Appiah because it fits in with the stage design with it being a rhythmic space, and Robert Wilson for his strong, vivid colours and cutting lights across the stage, not necessarily completely highlighting the performers, and Hotel Performer, their lighting effect, creating an illusion. How the hell it can physically be built and if we have enough money and is the room big enough? Basically. <laughs> um, it's ideally meant to support the idea of consciousness and it's, the set's more about the sense of claustrophobia. They are enclosed. There's this idea that you cannot get out. That's what we're trying to do by having the aperture so that the light can come from the corner and be quite high up out of obviously out of the actor's reach so that there is this sense that they're enclosed and they, there's, there is no way out. I was amazed at how physical some of, of the actors were because they haven't done any, any physical work before but we worked with it and suddenly I realised that there's a huge potential here and we actually went more for the physical with some parts and less for the physical with uh, parts where I thought that the line is more important so we have this contrast all the time. We always have a contrast between chorus and memory, chorus and the individual, the subject as such, and, and, and how it's difficult to cope with this illness, this illness of the soul um, on stage. And it's quite interesting how things have come out so far. I'm looking forward to um, 
getting all together and see where this will end up. English. Damn it, can I do that all again in Irish? <laughs> <laughs>